after what was a very unexpected and insane backstory slash arc, we're finally back to the present time with our present characters. And it's just going to feel so much different now. I can't lie. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 2, Episode 5. This one's called Three Companies, Con Three Companies Conflict, which I'm guessing is going to be the Guild, ADA, and the Port Mafia. And especially knowing some of the reach and the talents of the Port Mafia nowadays, it's going to be quite the conflict, I would say. I'm very interested, especially with how we now we know why Desai joined the ADA and why he's on the side of good, you know, either side doesn't really mean that much to him but it's from oda's last request and that means the world to him so i'm excited gotta find out what's going on i gotta hop into this let's do this don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are in the description like always for you guys if you guys want to support me patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment for the youtube algorithm it really does help me out don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated you guys bungo stray dogs season two episode five Three companies conflict. Oh, oh, eight half, but he got it. Wasn't didn't forget. That's sad. The one responsible was. Oh, they're not going to tell me. It's going to play an important role. Okay. Okay. That would be a very strong upgrade. I understand why she... Who could be calling on this phone right now? But I understand why she wouldn't want to use Demon Snow. Because it listens to the voice on the phone, so it's taught... Hold on. Port Mafia Executive Omasaki Kyuyu. I gotta write this down. I, this, some names I'd be missing on the show, and it's it's not good for me. Golden Demon is her ability. Yeah, I don't think uh, Omasaki realizes the lengths Atsushi will go to to protect this girl. I hope Kyoko doesn't fall for this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> she has just like Demon Slow. Hers is Golden Demon, though. Oh my god. Their abilities are so similar. Flower born. Oh, that's from the intro. Mm. I get that intro little thing now. Good. I like the way she's standing up for herself. Yeah, that's hope in her eyes. Come on. Come on. I do like how her umbrella has like a sword in it. That's so super dope. Ultimate manipulation. Atsushi as a hostage. I'm so curious why their abilities are so similar. Are they related? I've never seen two abilities that are that similar except for Oda and G-Day, but they're not related at all, so I guess it could just be random. That's actually crazy, though. Kiyoka, you are a savage. I see you, girl. Never give up. And of course she just likes that. 
Ooh, took the phone. Smart. Now Demon Snow can't be controlled. She's using it to control her own. Super smart. I fuck with Kyoko. What the? These are, uh... These are guild members. I saw them in the opening. I like how their demons are fighting and they're actually fighting with swords. This is super dope. Because she is one of those dark flowers. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It all makes sense. That is so dope. I thought it was going to be the poor mafia responsible, but that's even more tragic. Don't drop it, no. Now Demon Snow disappears. Oh, is that my boy Kenji? <laughs> yes, it is. Chuck in a car. Let's go. Kunikita and Kenji. This is the three companies conflict. John S. Grapes of Wrath. John. Lovecraft. Oh, uh, like HP Lovecraft. I do know that all, at least of the main characters here, are based off authors and literary masters in their craft, like Francis Scott Fitzgerald was known for writing The Great Gatsby, stuff like that. The only author that I know that I recognized beforehand, I'm proud of myself. I'm not the biggest reader, but I want to get more. I want to educate myself a little more. H.P. Lovecraft, Lovecraft, I need to read more of his stories, but I know he had huge, uh, he inspired a lot of people like um, George R.R. R. Martin, um, J.R. Tolkien, I'm pretty sure. I, you know, like, it's, it's, it's just crazy the influence he has had that i even know about him who's as ignorant as i am myself which is i love that little super under layer of the story it's very interesting but yes this is gonna get crazy what is their luggage i said that earlier oh this is they're not taking any breaks right into the good shit. Okay, season two, I see you. Sir Poe and Lady Louisa? I'm guessing Poe is Edgar Allan Poe? Oh my god, Kenji Kun- Oh my lord! What the hell is going on? Okay, we have Yosano who can stop any fatal injuries, thank the lord. Get working on them right away. Shouts out Yosano, but she still scares me immensely. Oh, we took her in. Understandable. <laughs> they have said that even amongst the Port Mafia, the stories of desire would send trembles down people's spines. <laughs> I hope he's okay. He seems like a very confident person, so... We're doing some shooting practice out here? Oh, 
That's quite the story. So I don't know the details of his power, but he seems very powerful. Okay, Francis is not one to just not to mess with, apparently. What info were you able to get? Defensive and offensive teams. And guerrilla tactics are my favorite. Yep, true. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta see the full defensive team. We got Rambo, Kenji, and we're all protecting Yosana, okay? Offensive, Kunikita, Tanizaki. And then Desai Atsushi. Nice, nice, nice. That's smart. That's smart. It's a good way to track. Never even would have ever thought of that. We got all three sides being very confident, very powerful. It'll be a three-way gifted war. Not what I was expecting at all. Well, what a start to this arc. I don't know what the title of this arc is, but I could see it being called the three-way gifted war because that was such a dope ending to that. I'm sure we're going to see some very crazy abilities. I'm sure we're going to see some very crazy fights, some very crazy moments. I'm curious what happened to Kyoka. I hope she's okay. She was definitely going through it mentally when um, Kyuyu, is that her name? Uh, yeah, Omosaki Kyuyu. <sighs> she was manipulating. Very much so, saying, you know, a uh, flower that bloomed in the darkness can only feel at ease in the darkness, which, in terms of botany, that does make sense, but we're humans, we're not flowers, so come on, gotta relax, and I don't have her full backstory, but I can understand that her, she herself was someone like Kyoka, who was born in the darkness, tried to find light, but then she said only to be burned by it, so she returns to the darkness, so I understand why she feels that she must do the same for Kyoka, especially because their abilities are so similar. She must find some sort of relatability in that. Very curious what happened with Kyoka and her parents, because Demon Snow was the one who killed her parents. Horribly sad, but from what I know, Demon Snow can only be controlled by a phone, so did someone say that specifically? Where, where does that fall into this whole lineup? Very curious about that. Some of the members of the guild are showing up. Uh, John was talking about his luggage all day, our luggage is gonna arrive, and then they came down like fucking Super Saiyans and absolutely wrecked the place. No idea what's going on there, but they are so incredibly powerful, it's crazy. We saw John, we saw Lovecraft, who I'm guessing, like I said, is H.P. Lovecraft. They mentioned Poe, who I'm assuming is Edgar Allan Poe, another very big author. I'm sure, because you guys are very good at that, letting me know, like, all the... What am I trying to, all the actual underlying details and the Easter eggs and stuff like that with who these people are and the, the things they're famous for. I love the comments that the real life Ongo, Oda, and Desai were actually friends and Oda was the one who perished first. And I think Desai did next due to a double suicide, which he actually was able to, to actually accomplish like the Desai wants to do in the show. And then Ongo died last of a heart aneurysm. It's just, very interesting the amount of depth that the creator of this show or manga went into in order to not only create this world and the world building inside but for those who have a passion for literature and can go a little bit further to have that underlyingness and it's just so amazing you know like i love things where if you're invested you get that much more out of it you know it's like I just, I just absolutely appreciate that, and I respect that, and I love that, and this is going to be crazy, this war, this arc, I'm very excited, I gotta hop into this next episode, if you enjoyed, don't wanna wait for the next bunch of episodes, check out that Patreon, early access, four episodes ahead, or the full length if you wanna watch the uncut, unedited, all that, 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that bell, and so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a good day, Dapper Squad. Peace.